All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak with Das. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and it's sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, title of this video is According to the Bible, there is no such thing as free will. Okay. Everything, okay, is ordained from the Heavenly Father from since the very beginning of time, okay, since the world began, okay, and um, it's written in the Bible, okay, whether you choose to believe in the Bible or not, that's up to you, but, you know, us who do believe in the Bible, according to the Bible, there is no such thing as free will, okay, I had to get that definite, uh, that that uh, that definition of free will, okay. But um, the the Bible, which there are many videos, uh, that goes on to uh, you know, brother speaking about this topic. Okay, it says the power of acting without the constraint of necessity or fate. Okay, the ability to act. At one's own discretion. Okay. Now the scriptures say. Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. <coughs> How can a man then understand his own way? Okay. Man's goings are of the Lord. Okay. Now, I'm going to get an example, okay, in the scriptures, okay, of, uh, you know, free will, you're not having it, okay? Matthew 26 and 33. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of you, yet will I never be offended. Yahweh said unto him, Verily I say unto you, that this night, right? Tonight, before the cock crow, you shall deny me thrice, okay? So, Peter, okay, hit, hit, according to his will, or what he didn't want, what he expected to do, okay, was to not, or never be offended, okay? But the Lord said that, that you, you are going to be offended, okay? And the cock is going to crow three times, okay? Peter said unto him, Though I should die with you, yet will I not deny you. Likewise, also said all his all the disciples. Okay. Now jump down to the uh, 69th verse. Now Peter sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, you also was with Yahweh of Galilee, but he did not before them all, saying, I know not what thou says. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said unto them that were, were there, this fellow was also with Yahweh of Nazareth. Okay? And again, he did not with an oath. I do not know the man. And after a while came unto him, they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely you are also one of them, for your speech bereaves you. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man, and immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the word of Yahweh, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept better, bitterly. Okay? So, according to what, what Peter said, okay, I'm never going to deny you. Okay, but what the Lord say, you're going to deny me before the cock grows. Okay, you're going to deny me three times. And, and guess what? He did. Okay. Um, Jeremiah 10 and 23. Oh, Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walks to direct his steps. Okay. Proverbs 16 and 9. A man's heart, which a heart is your mind, 
devises his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Okay? The Lord is the one who directs your steps, okay? And 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 your your goings, man. Okay? James 4 and 13. Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into a, into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Okay? And guess what, man? The Lord has a plan, okay? Once again, that he ordained, okay, since the very beginning of the um the world, man. Okay? He or he ordained this, okay? You thinking that you could come into this world and just do whatever you want to. You're not going to be able to spoil the Lord's plans. Okay? Hey, the so-called white man think he's, he can spoil the Lord's plan. Okay? But guess what? You can't do that, man. Okay? It's, it's impossible. You thinking that you can fool the Lord's plans or, or spoil them is uh f fulfilling prophecies, man. Okay? But uh, that's in the scriptures. Okay? It says, for that you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. Okay? So you ought to say, if the Lord Lord willing. Okay? Not according to what you will or what you want, but what the Lord wants. Okay? Proverbs 19 and 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that's, 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 that's our stand. Okay, so it's what the Lord, the Lord say at the end of the day. Okay. Hebrews 6 and 3. And this will we do if God permit. Okay. Continuing on, but now you rejoice and your boastings, all such rejoicing is evil. Okay, thinking that you can do whatever the heck you want to do. Therefore, to know him that knows to do good and do it not, to him it is, a, it is sin. Okay, so if you know the right thing or if you have this free will and you can choose to, to, to go out and do the wrong thing, okay, hey, guess what? You're going to get destroyed, man. Okay, cause the Lord, the Lord ain't ain't playing around with with, with with nobody, man. Okay, John fifteen and sixteen. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, He may give it you. So you don't choose whether you want to serve the Lord or not. Okay, He chooses you. Okay, and I'm going to get this before I go to another scripture. Okay, uh, John 15 and 19. If you are of the world, okay, the world will love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Okay, so the Lord chooses you. Okay, you don't choose the Lord and, and the Lord chooses you. Before you was even born. Okay, Jeremiah 1 and 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified you, and I ordained you a prophet unto the nations. Okay? See what this word ordained means. Okay? To give, put, set. Okay? Uh, Nathan. Okay? Uh, bestow, grant, permit, ascribe, employ, devote, okay, consecrate, dedicate, pay wages, sell, exchange, okay. 
So the Lord ordained him before he was born. Okay, was that the will that Jeremiah wanted to do? We don't know that. Okay, oh, hey, we do. Uh, then, then said I, ah, Lord, God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am the, I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, say not, I am a child, for you shall go to all that I send you, I mean, that I shall send you, and whatsoever I command you, you shall, you shall speak. Okay? So, so the Lord is the one who controls everything. It says, be not afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, said the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Okay. Continuing on. Okay. I'm going to get this. Okay. I'm, you know, I'm going to end the lesson, you know, but... You know, if you feel as though that you have free will, you got to ask yourself, what is a blessing? Okay, and a blessing, it means God's favor and protection. Okay, a prayer asking for God's favor and protection. Okay, a lot of people say that they don't have, that they have free will. You know, they'll sit up there and go go pray. But the, what, what the heck are you praying for? If you have free will, why even pray? Just go out here and go do whatever whatever you want. Because you don't respect God. You don't respect the Lord at all. Okay? You don't. So, the thing is this. If you're able to, to, to get a blessing, right? Which is God's favor. Okay? Then that would mean that you will also be able to get a curse. Okay, and a curse is a solemn utterance, okay, intended to invoke a supernatural power, which that supernatural power is the most high, to inflict harm or punishment on someone or something, okay? Our people went in, into slavery, okay, because that was the, the, the Lord's way of, of putting that harm on us. Okay, inflicting us. Okay, Aff afflicting us. Okay. So, you don't have, according to the Bible, okay, because that, that's what we go by, okay, the Bible. Okay, not our, not our own opinions. Okay. But if you believe in the Bible, um, there's no such thing as free will man okay so with that you know i want to say salawam